Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Sauceda's YouTube videos. Today we're going to be looking at the rock cycle, so follow along in your notes and if you have any questions, let me know. So what exactly are rocks? They're just a solid mixture of minerals that are created through the process of going through a step or two or maybe even three of the rock cycle. So you can see here we've got a sample of granite. Each one of these is a mineral. Feldspar, quartz, mica, hornblende, each and every one of these is a mineral, and you can see the tiny little pieces of these minerals inside of the rock. So clearly, this is a heterogeneous mixture, and it just so happens that it's called granite. Now, for the rock cycle, there are a lot of steps to it, but the first thing we need to do is we need to color code our key. So the first thing is I'm going to use green to represent weathering. I'm going to use orange to represent melting, heat and pressure, that's going to be yellow, cementation, that's going to be purple, and then cooling, that's going to be blue. So let's actually use these arrows then, and let's label some stuff. What are the different types of rocks? So there are three different types of rocks that's represented by these three things here. So these are going to represent igneous rocks, these are going to represent sedimentary rocks, and these are going to be metamorphic rocks. Now, what exactly are those? You don't really need to know that yet. Okay, we'll deal with that after we're done with our map here. Now, what two substances make rock? The first is sediments. Sediments are just tiny little pieces of minerals and other little bits of stuff that are broken down by weathering. And then magma, which of course, as we looked at last time, comes from that convection current stuff kind of popping through the surface of the crust. So how do you make sediments? I kind of already said it, but you can take any one of these and turn them into sediments. Igneous rock can be weathered away into sediments, metamorphic rock, and yeah, even sedimentary rock, even though it's made up of sediments, if you break down sedimentary rock, now you have the sediments again. And so that's kind of the three ways you can make sediments. How do you make magma? Magma is literally just melted rock. So you melt these, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock. If you melt any one of those, you get magma. All right, now how do we go from things to other things? How can you turn magma into a rock, right? Well, what do you do in order to turn something like lava into a rock? All you do is you cool it off. Now, anytime you cool off magma, that makes an igneous rock. That's what igneous rocks kind of are. They're cooled off magma or lava, okay? So that's the only way to make an igneous rock is by cooling off magma, which is why we see igneous rocks all over, like, you know, Hawaii and stuff. How can you make metamorphic rocks, right? So metamorphic rocks are right here. You can apply heat and pressure to an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock, and that will turn it into a metamorphic rock. Then how do you make sedimentary rock? Well, you cement sediments together to make sedimentary rock. So to make igneous rock, there's only one process. To make sedimentary rock, there's only one process. And then to make metamorphic rock, there are two kind of possibilities here. But remember, we can always go back to our starting materials by taking these and breaking them apart or by melting them. All right, let's take a look at this now, right? So what exactly is magma? We haven't defined that yet. It is melted rock. It's what happens when uh, lava or, well, magma reaches the surface of the earth. Okay, so when magma underneath the surface reaches the top part of the earth's crust, uh, that's when it becomes lava. So technically, I guess, in each of these pictures, this would be lava, but magma, lava, they're kind of interchangeable. Just magma is underneath the surface and lava is at the surface. So as lava cools, it becomes an igneous rock because it solidifies. And as it solidifies, there are different types of igneous rock too, but it solidifies and turns into a solid substance. You can almost see like right, how viscous lava is that you're able to like kind of push on it and it kind of like pushes back. Um, but as it cools, it starts to gain properties of these igneous rocks. What are sediments? They are loose fragments of minerals and organic material. And so here is, ignore the copyright little, pictures here. But uh, these are like sediments, sediments, I don't know why I said sedimentary. Uh, these are sediments underneath a microscope. So as the sediments are pushed together by pressure, and water actually, 
Uh, it's called cementation, and that is what forms sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock are very plentiful. They're all over the place, and they have different colors and different varieties. This is just a small sample of some sedimentary rocks. Now, how do we turn these things into metamorphic rocks? Well, remember, it says you have to apply heat and pressure. So what is the most common form of heat that you're adding? It is magma, because magma can seep into rocks. And as it seeps into rocks, it starts to heat them up, and sometimes it melts them. Sometimes it just applies a lot of heat because the magma starts to cool off. The most common pressure changer, that would be plates colliding. So you can think about this, right? It says regional metamorphism. This is two plates that are colliding with one another. And as they're colliding, these are getting warmer, obviously. But also, there's pressure building up. And so remember, in order to turn something into a metamorphic rock, it takes a large pressure and a large temperature change. All right, that's it. So if you have any questions.